Hi everyone. Now we will talk about middlewares in Laravel. So first we'll discuss what is middleware, how many types of middleware we have in Laravel. Then we will make middleware and apply it. And we'll see how we can filter out request with the help of middleware and how we can make conditions in middleware. In last, we'll discuss some important interview questions about middleware in Laravel. This is our playlist for Laravel 11 tutorial and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project, job and interviews. You can access this playlist, link is given in the description box. Alright, so now let's talk about first question, what is middleware? See, middleware is a layer between user and your Laravel application. Here you can see that in diagram, even see, middleware is a part of Laravel only, right? Don't think this is a different part uh, from uh, the Laravel, this is a Laravel application part only. So whenever a user will make request and middleware is created and applied, then request first go to the middleware. Here it will check some conditions and maybe filter out request. After that request can access the controller or view and the other parts of your application. All right, then maybe you can ask one more question. Why we need to make this middleware and what kind of condition it will check? Why it will filter out our request? See. So there can be multiple reasons to uh, check out the condition. For example, you want to check if a user is logged in or not. So for that, there is a two ways. First, with the each view and controller, you can check if user is logged in or not, user is logged in or not. But see, if you have hundred, hundreds of uh, controllers and view, then you have to write same code again and again, right? So this is not a feasible solution. So what you can do, you can create a middleware that will definitely execute before controller and view. And inside this, you can check if your uh, user is logged in or not. If user is not logged in, then maybe you can redirect to him on the login or sign up page. If user is uh, logged in, then you can allow to access the pages. All right. Second thing, sometimes we have to check the age in some projects, like if user has some uh, specific age that time he or she can uh, log in or access your application and may and there is a one more example so let's say your application is running worldwide but you want to restrict your application in one country so for that you want to basically check if the ip is coming from this country then you have to block them out right so in that case also you can check the ip condition and your age condition in the middleware and if you will feel like they are passing your requirement and condition, then you can access the, then you can allow to access the uh, controllers and view. Otherwise, you can simply block them. All right. So maybe you can you can have some more questions like, do we need to make middleware for each of the controller and view? Not actually. You can make only uh, one common one or maybe more than one middleware, and you can apply on the maybe the group of the controller or maybe all of the controller or maybe limited number of the controller. It's completely up, com completely up to you. All right, so now let's talk about types of middleware. See, in Laravel, we have three types of middleware. First one, global. They are uh, by default applied on the complete application. So let's say if you have 100 route routes, then the global middleware will be by default applied to the all of these routes. So let's say you want to apply a middleware on the limited routes. Maybe you want to apply the middleware only one, two or 10 routes in your application. That time you can create a route middleware. And let's say you have 100 routes and you want to create some different groups of the routes with the help of middleware, then you can create the group middleware. We'll talk about route and group middleware in detail in the upcoming parts also, right? So now let's see how we can make a global middleware. So first, let me open the terminal there and stop this PHP artisan server. And what command we have to use to make a middleware, you have to just write PHP artisan make middleware and your middleware name. So let's say I want to check, make a middleware name for the age check and you can enter. So now you will see in application folder, there is a uh, inside HTTP folder, there is a one more folder automatically created with the help with the name of middleware and there middleware is created. So inside this handle function, we can uh, check out the conditions or we can filter out our request, whatever you want to do, we can do there. All right. So and one more thing, 
after creating the middleware we have to apply it and how we can apply you have to go to the bootstrap folder and there you will find app.php folder inside this you will find another function with middleware so inside this we have to register it or you can say that we have to apply it all right so let's see how we can apply there are two ways to apply the middleware i'll show you both of them so first you have to import it then to import what you need to do you can use its namespace path you can just copy it and put inside the app.php just use prefix uh, use keyword and then path and then you can see that h check all right so name should be same keep in mind after that inside with middleware what you can simply do uh, you can uh, use dollar middleware and it has one function append and inside this you can put your uh, middleware name which is age check colon colon class like this all right and now your middleware is applied or you can say that register with the all of the routes right so let me show you how we can check so inside the uh, age check you can make some echo by default let me just make check it i'm putting there hello age check or something anything you want to display for a moment you can do that and after that let's uh, restart your php artisan server and whenever you will see uh, refresh your page you can see that hello age check is this is uh, visible and this is coming from your uh, age check middleware all right so let's try to create one more uh, view and let's see is it visible there or not so i'm putting there php artisan make view and my view name is home right and i think i should create their name with a small home so because this is a standard whenever we are creating any view it should start with the lower letter so i'm deleting it and creating the another one with the small h all right so inside this i am putting one text and let's say home page or something and if i'm trying to access it i have to make uh, uh, the route for it so let me make route colon colon view and its name is home basically then view name is also home and if i'm again trying to access it after starting my php server home still you can see that hello age check this uh, echo is also coming there right so that means this uh, middleware is applicable for the all of our route all right that's fine so now what condition i want to check so let's say i want to check if you if user age is less than 18 then he or she cannot access this application i want to check this all right so for that what you can do uh, first i want to just print there print r there this request right this dollar request and i am just printing their pre so that uh, there will be a format for uh, the request parameters so if i just access it you can see that lots of details are there right lots of details right root document remote addr port and everything is mentioned there and if i'm just passing there age equal to let's say 30 then you will see this age is also coming there right so i will check the condition with this age if this age is less than 18 then user cannot access this website right so simply what i'll do and if you want to just access it alone you can mention their request and then age and here you here you can see that we are getting this 30 all right so remove this echo we don't need it and there you can check if dollar request uh, age is less than 18 right then we can simply die it and say that you cannot access this website all right we can do like this and we can remove this printer and now let's see 
this is perfectly working fine and let's say user age is 10 now now you can see that you cannot access this website and same thing if you do with the home let me put there question mark age is let's say 12 then you can see that your age is you cannot access this website and even if i'm not putting this age still i have the same thing right so even with the form or with the pop-up we can take uh, the input like this from the user like uh, you can access or not or what's your age but for now you can see that this is how actually middleware works all right so i hope you can understand yeah let me give you one more example like how you can register your uh, your uh, middleware so this is the one way and there is a one more way if you want to uh, see dollar middleware and there is a, another function use right and inside this you can create a array and then you can simply put your uh, uh, this path of your request and it should start with the slash right and then you can mention their colon colon class and at last put the semicolon and you will find this is still applicable this is still working fine and if you will remove this you'll feel this condition is not getting checked all right again if you will apply this this is completely working fine all right so either you can use this way or either you can use this way both are perfectly fine right so i hope this part is helpful for you if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part this is my paytm number for donation thanks guys